Hi, my name is Andrea Murphy, and I'm one of the librarians at the Delaware State University's William C. Jason Library. And this tutorial is to give you a brief overview of how to search using our WorldCat Discovery system, using our library catalog. Um, WorldCat Discovery is a great way to start your search off. It's a great way to get an idea of what resources are available on your topic because that it searches not only DSU resources, but also worldwide what other libraries hold as well. So when we're starting our search, just to give you a quick um, reminder how to get to the library page, under the Academics tab, you can choose the library there, or you can also on the same top of the page at the top, go under My DSU or Blackboard, where you can also access the library. Once you're on the page, you want to scroll down and right here under Search Delaware State University and beyond is where that library catalog, WorldCat catalog is. So here we're going to, in that this blue box, we're going to plug in our search terms. And again, as I mentioned, this is not only searching Dell State's holdings, library holdings or resources, but also other libraries as well. And what we want to do, it's a great way to begin your search. It's a great way to begin looking for resources on your topic because this will start with a broad search and then we'll narrow our focus a bit. But it gives you an idea of what's available on your topic, what type of information you'll find. So I'm going to start with the terms eating disorders. It's a nice broad search. And I'm going to click on the search tab, the search box there. And this brings up the, the results that um, are found using those terms. So eating disorders brought up about 164,000 results in libraries worldwide. Because remember, I'm not just looking at the William C. Jason Library, I'm also looking at some of the other libraries as well that use, um, that use the service as well. So here to the left, I have an option to refine my search, and that's exactly what I want to do, because right now 164,000 is a bit much, and you want to be able to focus your search to get an idea to really see what could be useful for you without being overwhelmed. Remember, this is a process. This is one of the first steps in the process, and you want to take it step by step. Okay. So I'm at 164,000 and I can see what type of resources are available using that topic. I have um, an e-journal, a print book, um, there's also an e-book as well. And all of these items, this is giving you an idea of not only what's available, what resources are available, but the different types of resources, but also, um, also showing me that I can access this information right here. At, I have it right here at my fingertips. But I want to focus again my search a little bit more. So I'm going to go over to my left on my in this um, area here where I'm going to refine my search. I think I just want to focus on Delaware State University. So I want to see what's held by my library so that I know that I can have access to it um, right away. All right, held by my library, I'm going to choose Delaware State University. And that's going to lessen my results. I'm at 48,000 now. I'm going to scroll down a little bit more and here on the format, let's see, I have a couple of different options because remember I could see the print book. I also saw an ebook here and some journal articles. If I wanted to start my search off, I'm going to look for some journal articles first. So I'm going to focus my search even more. I'm going to refine my search a bit more because remember I'm focusing here on the left using a filter to be able to filter out some of the items I don't want or I want to see a certain part of the information. So I'm going to click on downloadable articles because I want to have access to it right away. I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. I have my format again. Hmm, my content type. I always want to have full text. I want access to full text. Our peer review, because remember, we want to know what the experts in the field are talking about. And that will not only provide a reliable, reliable information, but also scholarly, right? Because these are scholars in the field, the experts within the field that we want to focus our information on, that we want to only use information from. So we have peer reviewed. And then I know I should keep it within a certain amount of years. So, and right now I'm at 1,200 results now. Remember, I started at 164,000. 
this is definitely something that will help me get an idea of what's available that I can get that I can um, have access with access to. So I'm at 1200. Now, I wanted to do I also wanted to add a control of my publication year. So I just want the last five years. And that'll give me an idea of what's available um, currently, right, within the last five years. Let's see. Oh, I'm at 444 results. That's definitely something that I can um, look through. So now that I've gotten to that point, I want to see what kind of articles these are. And I, because are they local to me geographically? Um, are they from the U.S.? Because you still need to focus on that. We want to make sure our information is available to us from the U.S., all right? So it looks like that first article isn't. I see, even though it looks interesting, right? Renee Gerard and the mimetic nature of eating disorders. Okay, they're talking about eating disorders, but this doesn't look like it's something available to me here. Hmm. And it might not be exactly what I'm looking for. So let me keep looking. Let me keep just some reviewing what I've um, chosen here. And at this point, let's see, motor-based bodily self is selectively impaired in eating disorders. Okay, so how do I get an idea of, what's of what this article is about? And I can look right here where it says, it gives me the information of what journal it's from. And where it says read more, I can actually read the abstract of the article so I can am I looking for information about how um, the body is impaired maybe maybe I am so and that's the best part about this um, that's one of the good parts I should say about this I can as you're looking through you can get an idea of what each article is actually talking about um, and that helps you decide too what you should use what would be a good resource for you to use so it looks like this one, number five, body weight concerns, cross-national study and identification of factors related to eating disorder disorders. This might be interesting depending upon where it's from. So this would be something I might want to save. So you have an option here. You have to the right-hand side in the corner, cite. I can get an idea of what, I, what it looks like when I want to cite it. That's helpful. I can also get the link. All right, if I wanted to copy that, but I really, I can email it to myself, but since I'm not done with my um, looking through these resources, I'm going to save it because I can email this individual source, but if I wanted to do a group, that would, this would be a good way to do that. Clicking on save and that plugs it in right here where it says my items and it adds to a list that you can send to yourself. Now, I want to do one more thing, because even though I have a couple that I saved, and these are definitely could be useful, what else is available for, I don't know, I want to add another term, and I want to use a Boolean operator. This is what we call when we're connecting two terms together. We're going to use a Boolean operator, and this one, to narrow my search a bit more, I'm going to use AND as my connector, it's my Boolean operator to connect my two terms together. So I'm going to plug in and, and I'm going to add college students. And let's see what this search allows me, brings up. Okay, now remember, I'm looking at, I had an option, just so the plug, to make sure you know, there's an option to keep selections for subsequent searches, which means what I put in the first time, I could keep that if I choose this option here. And I think I'll do that this time. On the left, I still, even though I know that there's other places I can get this information, I'm glad I know that, but I'm, I kind of still want to stick with Dell State just to see what's available to me right now. So again, I brought up, there's eBooks, there's print books, but again, I want articles. Now you can do another type of search. You can, you can just look at the print resources or eBook options as well. But for our purposes for this search, I'm just gonna stick with articles this time. And over here to the left, remember my format, I'm gonna look for a downloadable article. I also want it to be from rely, a reliable source. So I'm gonna choose, not only do I want all of the article, full text under my content type because I'm using my filter here to the left to refine my search. But I also want peer reviewed, right? And then finally, I, I want to know what's going on in the last five years under this topic. All right, last five years. Now I'm at 13 results. 
that's definitely something a good set that I could look through at least to see what's available to me here. Okay, so I have 13 results. The first one, well, Ecuador, not bad, but I want to stay within the U.S. So you keep going, you keep scrolling down. Oh, here's that same article I looked at, Body Weight Concerns. And then I have, oh, this might be something interesting. Prevalence and correlates of food insecurity among U.S. college students, a multi-institutional study. This looks like something really useful. So I'm going to look at the abstract just to get an idea. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to save this as well. And it looks like I've already saved it. So I'm going to save this again. But we're, I want to make sure that it's in my items. All right. So let's see. Do we have any more that I might work with? This is South India. Snacking behavior. Let's see. Okay, so this social media thin ideal body dissatisfaction and disordered eating attitudes. Hmm, this could be interesting too, depending upon where it's coming from. So in the end, I'm going to save this one as well. And at least I know that there's a couple of things out here uh, available within my topic. And I'm going to send these to myself. So I scrolled back up, and even though you can't fully see it when you click on my items... This will give you an idea of what's available. This was the list that I chose. I have three, three items here, three resources, three um, articles, right? So I'm going to select all these items, and I'm going to send it to myself as an email. And I can plug in my email address here, omurphy at desu.edu. And I can also give it a subject, um, eating disorders. I think what I'm going to do also is include what I, I'm going to use this as how I search for these. So just eating disorders and college students. And now I'm going to share my list. And that's going to send it to me as an email. And I just hit OK. And now I can go back to my, where I was on my page and actually start the search again as I continue my process of research. And this is just to give you an idea of how to do a search within uh, the World, our WorldCat Discovery Service. And I hope you come back again to see some of the other uh, videos that we will continue to do. Have a great day.